everybody and welcome back to another episode of Lakshmi Bee TV and welcome to our brand new season of Lakshmi Bee projects and to kick off the first episode I will be showing you how I transformed my old shoes into these new shoes over here. So I am very excited. I had these shoes for about four or five years now. I think they were the first heel that I bought when I moved to Sydney. And it was just when all the business pumps were really starting to make a massive comeback. And I had picked them up then from a local boutique. So as always with white, it is white patent leather. So it hasn't worn particularly well and the shoe itself has actually been made really well so it's quite sturdy and strong it's pretty much just the outside has tarnished a little bit and of course it's got a few black marks and scrapes that are very difficult to get rid of so i thought in the name of sustainable fashion and upcycling instead of buying a brand new pair of shoes and adding to this massive global mess of toxic pollution and waste culture that we have why not remake these shoes into another beautiful fabulous pair of shoes so what i love about simple shoes like this is that the possibilities for creativity are endless there are so many things you can do with these so as some of you might have seen, we had launched our dinner at Tiffany's collection, which happened in 2018. So that was a sustainable collection completely made from scraps and offcuts. I am actually wearing one of the pieces right now. So this was our high-waisted skirt and crop top that you saw coming down the runway. Everything was made from old bits of fabric that we had lying around and a few scraps and pieces that we have put together. And my mom has made this beautiful design. It's a big sort of flower inspired by the Papua New Guinean lifestyle beautiful tropical flowers and the birds of paradise. So another thing that I love to do is using old jewelry. So back in the day when costume jewelry was just everywhere and people were raging over it, I had bought a stack of costume jewelry and I know a lot of my friends and even some of you may have stacks of these old chunky necklaces. You can put them as detailing on shoulders, on jackets, you can make buttons out of them. You can make new earrings out of some of the necklaces, even belts. Possibilities are endless. So what I did with these shoes, I actually made these really cute little shoe bows using my old necklace. So I've actually combined two things together to make a whole new shoe. With fast fashion being one of the biggest contributors of pollution in our globe today, with a lot of ties to slave labor and mistreatment of garment workers, it's very important that we make change. And one of the simple ways that we can do that to help combat this global issue is to simply reuse items that we already have in our own wardrobes as opposed to going out and buying more new stuff. This was a really easy project to do and I'm gonna show you how you can remake your old shoes by using some of the simple steps in this tutorial. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is get all your pieces together. So I have the beautiful white shoes that we are going to be redoing today. I also have my old jewelry here. We're going to be using this necklace as the shoe bow to embellish the shoe once it's finished. So to paint my shoes, I'm going to be using this beautiful light body metallic acrylic Lumiere by Jacquard. So it is the pearlescent turquoise. You can find this at your local paint art and craft shop. In Australia, I got this at Eckersley's Art and Craft. To paint the bottom of my shoes today, I'm going to be using my old nail polish, Sally Hansen Silver Extreme Wear Nail Polish. I'm also going to be using this white nail polish here to do a bit of spot patching. The next thing you're going to need for the shoe bows is good old Gorilla Glue is what I'm using here. I will be using these cute little shoe clips that I got on eBay. I've got my paper towel, water and disinfectant wipe, some sticky tape, a little mixing bowl, a couple of paint brushes, pair of scissors, some pliers and a good old bobbin and thread. 
All right, to begin, we are going to take our disinfectant wipes and I'm just going to give the shoe a good clean. So the point of this is to take away as much dirt and as much of the marks as we can and leave a nice smooth finish for the paint job. Next, we're going to take some of our paper towel and just dip it into the water and we're just going to rub off anything extra um, or anything that might have been stuck or caught that we couldn't get off with the wipe just to give it an extra, extra smooth finish. Now we're going to take our sticky tape and I'm just going to tape around the edges just so we don't get any paint on the bottom of the shoe. So we're going to leave that for our silver color. And our main color, of course, is going to be the turquoise. to take that white nail polish and I'm just going to do a bit of spot painting. So just match the nail polish to the colour of the shoe that you're painting and any marks, especially if you have pointy toe shoes like these pumps and they often get scratched right on that point. So this is a good way just to fill in those gaps and I'm going to do a couple of coats of this on each point just to give it a nice smooth finish. Okay, so while we wait for the paint to dry, we're going to move on and create our shoe bows. So I've got a pair of pliers here and my old necklace. You can use any of your old jewelry, costume jewelry that you may have lying around. Usually with costume jewelry, it'll be attached by these little hinges or loops that you can see here. So I'm just gonna undo the metal loops with the pliers over here and separate them into pieces. Okay, so next I'm going to take my Gorilla Glue. Um, if you don't have any Gorilla Glue, feel free to use any super glue or just check in with the hardware store. I like to use this because it's flexible before it dries, so you can position it really well. And when it does dry, it secures hard surfaces like metal and plastics very well, so they won't be falling apart anytime soon. So with this, you just want to put a couple of dabs where you want to connect the parts that you're gluing. Let it dry a little bit and once the glue becomes tacky, you push them together and bind the two pieces that you're trying to attach. Yay, now for the fun part. So now we get to paint the shoes. So I'm just gonna take that shoe paint. So this is actually a paint that is made for painting shoes. And in Australia, we have the Lumiere by Jacket, and it is crack proof, waterproof, and scratch proof, which is really cool. So I'm gonna take this beautiful turquoise color and I'm going to start painting the first coat of my shoe. Now, when you're painting your shoes, just be sure to do light brush strokes because you don't wanna get um, too many strokes showing through. But don't worry if you have a few, once you've done a couple of coats, you won't see the brush strokes anymore.
Okay, so make sure you get into all those little crevices. You might want to bulk up on the paint and just get it into all of those gaps and then just fan it out lightly with the light brush strokes. Once you have finished, just repeat with a second coat until the whole shoe is completely covered and looking good. And then once it's had a bit of time to dry, now we're going to go in with our blow dryer. So this particular paint needs to be heat set. So I'm putting my blow dryer on the highest heat setting and just spending about 5 to 10 minutes going around each shoe. Okay, so once it's heat set and it's feeling pretty dry, I'm going to start taking off some of that sticky tape from the bottom. And then we're going to get our old nail polish. So I'm using my silver Sally Hansen polish and I'm just going to pour some nail polish remover into the bottle. So this will make the leftover paint more runny inside. Give it a bit of a shake and then I'm going to pour it out into my paint bucket here, little paint tin. And then I'm just going to do the same thing, just really light brush strokes all over the bottom of the shoe, just being careful not to spill over to the sides. Oh man, these are looking so good. Who would have thought? Just a little bit of nail polish on the bottom of your shoe. Give it a little bit of a sparkle, a little bit of a shine. Sweet. So while the shoes are continuing to dry, we're going to move on to our shoe bows now. So they're drying up pretty well. Now all we have to do is attach our clip to the little bows. So I've got some scrap fabric here. Um, you can get just any like sort of little scraps or tiny pieces of fabric. This just protects the clip from digging into the shoe and it provides a good base for it as well to actually sit onto the bow. So you're just going to sew with a needle and thread just through the holes attaching it to the scrap piece of fabric. Okay, so once you've done that, you're just going to go ahead and grab your Gorilla Glue and just put glue all over that fabric part. This is the bit that's going to actually attach to the shoe bow. Now we're going to take our little shoe clip with a bit of fabric and the glue and we're going to attach it to our shoe bows and just press it down lightly. And once you've done that, you're going to take your other tiny little bit of scrap fabric and this is going to go over the clip part that has now attached to the bow. And this is, as I mentioned before, going to protect the shoe. Leave them both, the shoe bows and the shoes, for a good 24 hours to dry properly. And here we are the next day. So I have the beautiful little shoe bows. They're ready to wear. And I didn't show you this, but I actually ripped out the soles of these shoes, gave them a wash, and I sewed in my own Lakshmi B labels inside, which is pretty cool. You can customize it however you want and just re-glue your sole back in with the good old Gorilla Glue. So now it is the next day and we have our shoes here. So we're going to heat set them again just to make sure that they're completely set and ready to go. And I'm just using my blow dryer on the highest setting and giving it a good five to 10 minutes for each shoe. They're looking good. And now we are ready for the fun part, the moment of truth. We are going to clip our shoe bow onto the shoe. Yeah, now this is where it gets really cool. So there you have it. Fabulous new shoes. Man, it literally looks like you paid a couple of grand for these and all on an affordable budget. How freaking cool is this? Look at the shine, look at the shine. So good, so good. Yes, I am obsessed with my Tiffany inspired shoes. And there you have it. Brand new fabulous shoes that don't hurt the planet or people. And the best part is you have a beautiful sustainable creation that no one else will have. 
And by doing this, you're helping us get one step closer to the global change we so desperately need. Thank you for watching another episode of Luxury Bee TV. If you liked this video and want to see more projects just like this one, please send me a comment or a message. And to keep up to date with all the exciting things going on at Luxury Bee, please subscribe to this channel. If you end up trying this tutorial, please let me know how you go. I'd love to see the pictures of some of the awesome things that you guys create. I'm Lakshmi and I'll see you guys in the next video.